Welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. In this part, we are now returning to Iridia because of a path we couldn't enter because we didn't have the grapple hook. All this could have been avoided if we just went to Metropolis first, but no, I had to do things my way. And my way meant showing off that help desk message that the grapple hook wasn't on this planet. But trust me, uh, at some point, it'll just be uncontrollable on my end. I mean, I already told you about this game having paywalls and everything. Don't be thinking that this game's going to be above using tactics to make you leave a planet without completing it completely. <laughs> oh, it's redundant, but yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, there's a nice feature of using Clank here. Thanks to him now being upgraded so we can actually call this game Ratchet and Clank and not just Ratchet, we can now do long jumps, or as the game calls it, I think, stretch jumps. If you're used to this, you're probably gonna be using it a lot. <laughs> and that was just a big mistake on my part. Uh, what was I? Uh, stretch jumps. Uh, they're for the impatient, like me. If there's a stretch of ground that's just too much to walk through. Have fun just using the stretch jump to get everywhere. I mean, hey, it is faster if you can time it right. If you'd like, you can reverse your camera controls. Just select camera from the options menu. I have no idea what that has to do with this path here, but uh, yeah, here in this section, we gotta grapple everywhere now. Because if you're gonna lock something behind a gadget, might as well decorate the whole entire thing to be around to suit it. So that's pretty much the whole entire thing. You've seen it all already. Just have fun with this. It looks like I got a little too greedy there. But it's all in the name for bolts. Lots of them. Hey, it's up here. I got... Apparently I just wanted to get through this quickly. Hey, look at that. I earned a skill point. I feel proud now. Because I have skill and it's a point about me. And would you look at that? There's something hidden underneath here. Do you need it? Uh, maybe not on the first playthrough. I think most people who are playing this game are probably just going to play it once and call it a day. But the points that would add to that are for later, I guess. Like way much later. Anyway, here's a new gadget. Lasers are mounted on each ring of the invincible lock. Aim the lasers at the receptors on the outside ring to turn them green. All receptors must be green before the invincible lock will open. So here's a common trend with Ratchet and Clank. There's a lot of puzzles with hacking devices. And in this game is not short of them. You'll be seeing a lot. And sadly, with the course of this of these gadgets this is probably the most tolerated tolerable ones that you can have i mean that's just my opinion of course but later devices aren't nearly as nice as this one this one is just clearly a do it at your own pace and that's it the other ones not so much like you can't actually fail the trespasser puzzles it's just a matter of how long you take to do it. I guess that's nice. Anyway, we're going to the logging site. Let's go front the robot lieutenant. Yeah. 
yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir. You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. <laughs> Well, Drake's pretty greedy, <laughs> and at the same time, uh, clearly can't share. So, if logging site wasn't obvious, obvious enough, here we are. <laughs> bunch of trees, bunch of lumberjack robots. Ah, uh, <laughs> can't get that. So yep, here we are, another green planet. <laughs> we just got all we needed. So what do the Doom bots do? That. So yep, we got another glove device. This time they summon minions for us to kill enemies with. So if we're too lazy to do it, just send the glove Doom to do its job. So it may look like there's three paths here, but don't be fooled. One path just leads to a very quick dead end. That actually leads somewhere. Another I won't visit till much later. Also, what I'm doing here is overkill. These are very, very weak robots. Like, see, I could have just saved myself some time doing that. Uh, I guess you can't lament the past for too long. Look at that, one of them still around. Keep it as a nice little pet. Oh, if it weren't for the fact that it's dangerous. And it looks like it has some explosives strapped onto its back. But hey, it'll enjoy its new life here. Oh, would you look at that, another gold bull already. Yep, it's very funny. It's very funny that I got a gold bull. Now right, time for the meat of this planet. This full force section here. This is where the real danger comes in. This really, you could just avoid this whole entire area. But, do it anyway, it's... It needs to, it leads to some nice stuff. And by stuff, I mean one thing. I mean, unless you count the bolts. In that case, you you seriously need to always go out of your way to get bolts. You'll never know when this game will find a way to just dick you out of getting more progress. Oh, look at that. Another uh, plate thing there. I'm obviously too busy being distracted by my inability to get up here. Up here it is, again. What can it do? Uh, we won't find out till much later. That's an explosive finale. Well, we already found our stronger robot enemies. But I don't think that's enough for this level. At least that's what Insomniac thought. We're gonna find something else later. After I'm done sightseeing. And always get distracted by the ammunition. Always get distracted by it, apparently. Yep, here it is, these guys. More Blarg. These guys just happen to be a bit more competent than the last few we've met. They still die very quickly to the bomb glove, though. So, uh, it's still very obvious that this is very early in the game.
<laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna hate watching myself play sometimes when I'm using such a just a nice weapon for stronger enemies against such weak enemies. Ah oh, well. Would you look at that? We already got a sneak peek for the next enemy. Too bad this thing has a range to it, apparently. Those bullets just fizzle out at some point, I guess. And once again, this is proving my point that the blaster is not meant to be used on common enemies, because I clearly use three when it only takes two to kill. And here, this is just fighting fire of fire. I mean, they don't need to fire out too much to kill you. But they also don't need very much to be killed. They also fire out in a smaller, much slower pace. Like it feels more like a shotgun than a pistol. I mean, some pistols do fire sl slower than others, but eh, I'm not a gun expert. And I mean, this is Ratchet and Clank. This is supposed to be the world where guns can be a lot of things. Okay, so yeah, it's looks like a sh shotgun, I guess. It's holding it two-handed, everything. I mean, uh, can you think of a pistol that's as big as the blaster here? Hey, yeah, that was a big mistake to try to fight him like that. And as you can see here, with one nanotech left, Ratchet's ears start drooping. Basically takes on way more visible pain expressions now when he's low on health. But I think it's only when you get one nanotech piece left. Later games, when they move away from this kind of health system, they put it like when he's seriously dan dangerously low on health. In some games, they just make it pretty obvious that your health's too low and that you shouldn't fight some people. But that's never not an option in this game. I don't know what caused me to stop there. But uh, I believe here's a um, time section for once. I'm pretty sure the other ones clearly stayed down permanently, but this one doesn't. Good reason. Elevated heights. Look, we can finally face this guy for the first time. And clearly he's supposed to be very strong since he just took more than one bomb. Okay, uh, there's nothing funny about him just running right there and that, and he gets blown up instantly. Look, if you're not a boss, you do not earn the right to just be a charging enemy. Oh, would you look at that? We can't make the jump. Except, um, actually you probably can. I think I overcompensated there, but... That clearly looks like it's meant to be a jump where you use the stretch jump. Now that's an efficient use of the bomb glove. Yep, uh, killed multiple enemies. However many birds with one stone. Oh, but apparently that wasn't all of them. Now it is. Okay, now it looks like these guys have actually prepared for the situation, and they're hiding something right there. Too bad, they're still very, very, very weak. Well, at least I've gotten a bit richer from this. Gadgetron's suck cannon can vacuum up multiple enemies, then fire them out as high-caliber missiles. Caution, enemies must be small enough to fit inside the barrel. This is another common weapon in the in this class in the classic trilogy, I guess. 
suck cannons, where you can just suck up enemies and just... <laughs> okay, let me give you a more accurate summary of it. Basically, you can turn your enemies into ammunition. And in turn, this is actually an explosive weapon. This should be the first explosive weapon, besides the bomb glove, that you should have. Because believe it or not, your bomb glove will not work for everything. So, the whole high caliber missile thing is very much accurate about this. And once you look at that, we just can't progress any further. Good thing we got this, huh? <laughs> Too bad the puzzles here are very, very basic. But maybe that's a good thing. For now, anyway. Look at that, the music change. That means something's coming up. And it is yet another training course for the grapple hook. But to get to this point, you would have to go through another course with the grapple hook. So, I guess it's just an expansion. But this time, I guess... No, it's still just as dangerous. The other one had like still had a pit. So, uh, I guess this is supposed to be a integration of using the grapple hook and the bolt cranks. And I guess a bit of tight platforming. Ratchet's jump here does not lend well near, at least not well compared to other games. Like I find his jump is, I guess you could say that they try to make it a bit more natural in this game, but in later games they obviously improved his jump so that it doesn't give you issues. Like, if you try uh, using Clank to hover a bit, like after a double jump, it'll not work in this game. But in later games, it'll just work fine. By double tapping the triangle button, you can quickly switch between your two most recently used weapons or hand gadgets. As I was saying, um, when you use Clank in later games, it'll actually, you know, in this game, it won't come out right. Like, the, you'll not get enough height to do so. Later games, they seem to have made it so that Ratchet gets some airtime. Like, enough airtime that he can do his jump and ho still hover. Like, even if you're not going to use it properly, you could s it'll work. And would you look at that? The lieutenant's right there. Hope you're ready for a good boss fight. Yep, look at him just there. Just being there. You sure showed him. I suppose I did. Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek, and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind boot tester, warhead assembly technician, mutant animal husbandry, robot repair man, suck cannon test dummy, and administrative assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS today. Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am? Sure, we need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, uh, you think too much. Come on, let's go. Oh, BTS. Our first space station in this game. So for once we might be able to say, look, we're in space. Beyond the loading screens. So yeah, it was that anticlimactic. No boss, no nothing. Just He just runs away and we 
I think we only see him once as a cameo, and that's it. He's gone completely. The game... I guess the game acts like he probably was defeated and killed here like a boss, but... No, he's just gone. Ran away. He ran away to the bus. They never will come back. Well, that's everything on this planet. Time to go to BTS. Or Blarg Station, as the game calls it. What of you, huh? Too bad you don't actually have to explore most of it, so... Yeah, just fan service. Just because. Hi there, Fuzzball. That's a real beauty. Well, that didn't cost nearly as much as the last weapon. But then again, it's not- can't be really considered a weapon. It's Taunter, it just taunts and it breaks stuff. Making the most cartoonish sounds you can think of. I don't know what was the hold up with me there, but uh... Yep. It's as simple as that. I took too long and I somehow ran into that. Look at that. More toads. Frogs, whatever you want to call them. They're not even toads or frogs. They're just aliens. Uh, whatever the case. Here we are. They explode. Uh, once you uh, let go of the circle button, you can't use it for much else anymore. So if you're going to load up the suck cannon, you better uh, load it up completely. Look at that new enemy. Dead. Need a little help with these enemies? Try your taunter. Oh. You heard the lady. Oh, what do you know? Yeah. <laughs> enemies are really just stupid. Like, uh, I can't seem to get enough of these universes where everybody that isn't the main character is dumber than a sack of hammers. No, I think a sack of hammers would be smarter than this. They wouldn't move right into the killer force field. But I guess there needs to be one way to make the player feel good about themselves. Anyway, more trespasser stuff. Fortunately, with this whole trespasser business, it's easy as just saying, well, that's what it is, just the whole entire time. I mean, what can you say about them beyond a brief description, other than saying, oh, this was a bit tough or something? Not much, really. I'm sure I'll get a bit hung up on some of these, but eh, they're not really all that challenging. And look at that. Solved it. Oh. Remember what the taunter does. Okay, so obviously I didn't taunt those crates. And I think if you use the taunter here without breaking those crates early, they're the only ones that don't break. Giving it away that... Look, it's booby trapped. But it's nice that we're able to make our money back so quickly. Too bad early on in this game, you will not make much money. So you better scrunch every single little bit you can. You know, I wonder if we could find the corpse of those scientists down there. But the only way to go down there would involve dying just like them, so don't. Oh, this doesn't look good. In fact, it's really bad. So close. Oh, 
I don't know how much damage those guys take with the bomb glove, but from what I can tell, the bomb glove's not as good as an explosive weapon like that, but this is actually like a, it's a bit weird how this suck cannon works. It's an explosive weapon, but it's not as strong as other explosive weapons like a rocket launcher or anything else. Like the other ones you'll find later on, they actually can do a better job outside of enemies at least. Well, uh, I guess we found the smart ones. Fortunately, you can't shoot through the gaps. This game wasn't that advanced. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure this was around the time when developers started making, like, collision fancy-like to, you know, include railings. But I guess it was too much work to develop it for something like that. Where the whole thing, like the whole opening, just shift all over the place. But again, I never developed the game, so I wouldn't know. Really nice how they have so much enemies that are small enough to fit in the suck cannon, and I like, give it to you in like huge quantities. Although, that limitation of 5 can be a bit troubling. Since you'll easily just run out, like, really quickly. So, if you're gonna save it up for something, have fun. Oh, would you look at that? These things are back. This is very easily what you're supposed to save up the suck cannon for, but... It doesn't look like I'm doing that. You know, it's a bit weird how there's still cages on some of these, yet the experiments escaped. Like, um... Maybe if you count. Uh, you'll probably find something. I'm not doing that, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah, if it wasn't obvious enough, this is the cage. And if it also wasn't extra obvious enough, there's a whole series of cages here. Maybe explore one of them like I'm doing right now, because as you can realize, Gold Bolt. You may probably be still wondering what they're useful for, but it's still not. <laughs> it doesn't count as, you know, an ultra expensive bolt. Actually, that'd be pretty nice if it did. And look at that, another one of these. Unfortunately, the problem with these placements with these things is that we'll never find out what they do in this area because by the time you finish this area, you have no reason to come back here. And I don't think uh, New Game Plus helps in this matter. Oh, it's still not the suck cannon, but uh, it's doing its job. Oh, and just remaining suck cannon stuff, I guess. It's only two of those, so it's not useful. Look, even these things are stupid, and they also die instantly to this thing. Too bad I was being stupid and forgot to use the taunter on these guys. <laughs> so a bomb glove it is. Unfortunately, they are very much designed to deal with you with your wrench. So you do not attack those up front. Don't. Ever. Look at that. We could have gotten two chances to kill the enemies there. But I was just feeling nice and didn't do that. So now the whole area is open. Too bad if you die here, the enemies respawn. And I'm pretty sure the force fields are not back online, so that means you have to kill them manually. And this is a very green room. Wanna know why? 
That thing just spawns in. And look at that! We finally found a use for the blaster beyond wasting ammo on normal enemies. Uh, this is basically what you're supposed to use it for. I have no idea what I'm doing here, but it's very clear that I picked correctly, then packed away for some reason. I promise you it wasn't me choking. I still laugh at the idea though that this thing is so, so much weaker than the regular enemies it's based off of. Like, this thing, will, at least if you don't try to attack it up front, will be too weak to fight you. Uh, you can easily finish it off. Look at that, it even curves to hit it. That's nice. And then it sends its sons after you, which surprisingly are stronger than it, than the mother itself. Unfortunately, uh, they don't run away when you kill its mother, so they will uh, venture if I don't do something. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing here. Uh, isn't it fun watching the few times I slip up? I mean, I've heard Let's Plays are better when you're not playing absolutely perfect, but uh, there's a limit to that sometimes when you don't act brain dead. The wrong way. <laughs> I don't know why they block off that path, but they gotta do do something, I guess. Look at that, and he's like, "No, that's nice." Whew. Thought I was a goner this time. Some nano wit in genetics must have left the cages open again. You could come down now. Honestly, a gadget engineer deserves a bit more respect, if you ask me. So you are an inventor. Gadget Engineer. I create revolutionary devices for Executive Chairman Drek. For instance, Viola. My soon-to-be-patented Grind Boots. Look, I, I, I need to get out of here so I can find a new job. How about I sell you these? At cost. Sell? After we just saved your scrawny butt? All right, all right. I'll give you the employee discount, too. Yep. Well, that's it for part three. Um... These grind boots are being held for ransom. Sorry about that. I'll pay you off later for part four.